Good evening. Welcome to Family Planning News Network. My name is Asanele Koto. I'll be your anchor for this evening. My name is Winnie Barawa, Trade Blazer News anchor for the day. We've had an amazing three days at ICFP 2022. Yeah, several young people came from various parts of the world in thousands to gather, to discuss, and to connect with various stakeholders to talk about how do we improve family planning services and universal health care for all. We spoke about various topics from advocacy, digitization, collaborating, power shifting, to many important critical aspects that we need to tap into when we go back into our countries and improve family planning services for all. One of the amazing highlights today is that the UNFPA launched its 8 billion strong strategy, which helps us to strengthen family planning services on a global platform. It focuses on strengthening leadership, in breaking down silos and increasing collaborations, and to ensure that we reach every single person and bring males and young boys as actors and active people who are playing a part in making sure that family planning services, SRHR services, and many other parts that fall part under the SRHR umbrella are catered to, taken care of, and given priority. Over to Winnie to take you through to today on what young people had to say on the streets. And as today we launched the 8 billion strong strategy towards family planning and universal health coverage, the youth in the world are excited and optimistic to see inclusion and their voices being covered into this strategy. We had the beauty and the opportunity to interact with several youth to hear their voices and their anticipation to see inclusion, participation, and their rights to access to family planning and reproductive health being accessed easily. And we would like to hear the conversation of the youth into the conference. with the youth, getting their perception and expectation for the conference of ICFP 2022. I'm joined by Nzisa and Avli. Avli. Thank you so much for coming for this segment. What do you expect to gain from the conference or what do you wish to be addressed as you attend the conference? Um, as a young person, I wish that we can address digital inclusion for young people and how we intentionally include young leaders in what you're creating, in what you're doing, in every planning process that young people have a voice and young people are driving this change, not, not just calling them in when you just need their opinion. Yeah. I think for me, as a young uh, queer activist and as somebody who's been working with like young queer people on SRHR, I think I'm really excited about the fact that we're finally talking about queering like family planning and queering like SRHR access and services in the conference. But at the same time, uh, I know that there are very few sessions that are directly addressing that. So just having more of that in the next ICFP and going forward and making sure that maybe one day we'll have like a, a youth like we have the youth pre-conference, just a pre-conference on queer rights yes. with young people. That'll be amazing. Yes. Awesome, awesome, ladies. Yes. Actually, I would like to ask again, do you have any word for the youth or the other person who is attending the conference? Any word of encouragement as we wrap up? Yeah. Um, so for young people, it's your time. It's your opportunity to ask for what is yours because you belong here. You're not here because you're a young person. You're here because your voice matters. For the, for the people that can make our voices matter, mm -hmm. give us the chance to matter because even though we are young people, we have the voice and we are ready to do the work. Yeah. Final word. Yeah, I think borrowing from what my friend was also saying, I think just affirming all uh, young queer people and trans people and telling them that their sexual health also matters and there's space for them here. I think that's what yeah I'm going to emphasize at the end. Yeah. All right, thank you and um, see you. So those are the voices of the youth in the conference and they are super excited to see their rights being included. Over to you, your Tom. Take over. Thank you, Winnie, for joining me today, and it's a pleasure to be live on the show this evening. Uh, bringing one of the major news that actually took place today in the conference. As you all know, in 2018, over 245 million women around the world were subjected to gender-based violence. Today, women and girls in South Sudan 
are still facing the page of gender-based violence. However, there are too many organizations that are battling and fighting the issue of gender-based violence in South Sudan. Amongst those organizations is an organization called Chamber Collective. Today, I had the opportunity to have sat in one of their meetings. Chamber Collective is actually an organization that collects data on family planning and sexual and gender-based violence. So um, as a U Trailblazer reporter, Chamber Collective had the opportunity today to have presented uh, one of their amazing uh, findings on family planning and gender-based violence. However, the organization is also calling on the government of South Sudan to make use of their latest findings on family planning and gender-based violence. I had the opportunity to have interviewed one of uh, the leaders of the organization, and this is how the conversation began. Yo, hello, my name is Jutomo Dotin Jr. and I'm one of the youth trailblazers of the RCMP uh, 2022 conference. Um, so today I'm in conversation with um, an amazing person, um, amazing personality, who has been doing extremely well with regards to social behavior change and family planning and all of that. You're going to hear from her quickly, just a little bit about herself and then her program especially the presentation today, and this April. Hi. Hi, I'm Sakina Zaini. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Okay, it's a pleasure. So um, you did a nice presentation today. Can you just summarize that presentation in terms of impact of you know, the kind of work you do? Absolutely. So I work for an organization called Amber Collective, and we do a lot of different things in the planning that we can really do is audience segmentation. So we use data to create segments based on their attitude and their drivers behind family planning. This particular project that we did, we put together data on family planning and on gender-based violence to understand profiles of women in so, uh, since uh, the data, right, since you came up with your findings, what has really changed for women and girls in sex? It's a good question. Um, it's always hard to figure out the final results, but for us, we put forward a counseling tool that we're hoping is being used by the ministry. Um, it's a counseling tool that we are hoping is being used by community health workers, there's some trainings. There's been a lot of workshops with folks on the ground to understand how best to disseminate it and how best to really let providers use it to help women think about their planning and their practices. <laughs> Just that it's so wonderful to see all these here and engage in the presentation yesterday. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. That was actually one of uh, the voices of uh, uh, the leaders from uh, Kimber Collective and they are doing an amazing job looking at family planning and gender-based violence. Well, Winnie, I'm very excited about this show because it's the very first time uh, you trailblazers are on stage and presenting live. So I'm happy for it and I'm really looking forward uh, to another presentation tomorrow. But I'll turn it over to you, thank you. Thank you so much, JD. This has been a beautiful first moment for the FNN news segment, what we call the Trailblazer News 2022. Thank you for staying tuned up with us. And please don't forget to keep following up on our program on the social media. Remember to hashtag us on hashtag ICFP2022, hashtag FPNN, hashtag FP for all, and hashtag 8 billion power strong. My name is Winnie Barawa and see you all. Good night.